from Las Vegas. It's the Cube covering AWS reInvent 2018. Brought to you by Amazon Web Services, Intel, and their ecosystem partners. And welcome back to Las Vegas. We're in the sands right now at AWS reInvent 7. Kind of a satellite venue is also encompassing this show with 40,000 plus attendees. The show getting bigger and better than ever. And theCUBE back for our seventh AWS reInvent. Along with Justin Warren, I'm John Walls. Good to have you here in the sands. Along with Hoiger Reisinger, who is the SVP of Large Enterprise Solutions at Jabra. And Hoiger, thanks for joining us here on theCUBE. Thanks for having me. I think with all this noise, we could use some headsets right now, right? <laughs> uh, I totally agree. Yes. I think we could, yeah. All right, let's talk about the, um, uh, it, it's, it's a situation we've all faced, right? You're calling, making a call about a particular problem to a company, you get into the call center, your focus right now is making that interaction work, to making it go smoothly, to making it go well. Tell us what Jabra is doing to make us hang up that phone and feel a lot better about that experience. So first and foremost, uh, when customers are calling contact center operation these days, they have been on a pretty intense journey, on a digital journey, uh, collecting a lot of information. So when they call us, it's because it really is important to them, it matters. For the agent, that means that the call is much more complex. Right. Because we have a lot of systems in place that automate basic conversations, maybe handled by a robot, so when it hits an agent, then it's probably a more heated conversation, more emotional. And this is where we try to make a difference with our devices. Yeah, so tell us more about, about that. I mean, Jabra is well known for being a headset manufacturer and, and you're doing a lot of work with software. We were talking just before the segment about some of what you're doing there around sentiment analysis, which is pretty interesting. But a lot of what you're talking about here is around people and process and less about the technology. So what's Jabra's vision for, the, for your role with helping customers about that entire experience and not, not just about the technology? Well, I would say it's always a combination of technology. Uh, when it comes to people, it's about behavior. And then when it comes to being the face to the customers, maybe using the opportunity to get engaged with your customers by them escalating something to you, I think it's about culture, how you want your company to be portrayed in the public. So I would say it's always a combination of those things. Mm. Our devices, per definition, we call them variable technology, they are personal devices. Uh, they are more and more intelligent nowadays, right? So they are not just an accessory to a phone system transmitting human audio. They are now a business critical element of the whole infrastructure. They are digital, they are intelligent, and they can probably also listen to how people say things and not just what has been said in that conversation. Mm. So what is it about Jabra's technology that augments that human experience? So I'm, I'm calling an agent and I, and I want to talk to them about a problem which is very personal to me. Sometimes I'm, I'm grumpy about it because I've had a bad experience. Yeah. So what is it about Jabra's technology that helps that agent to resolve the issue so that I, again, as, as John said, that I walk away from that experience and I feel good about myself? Yes. So first of all, this happens because we are integrated into something like Amazon Connect, right? Mm. Uh, Amazon Connect running on AWS, there's a lot of technology in the back end working for that situation. So you can get the call transcribed, you can look for certain keywords. This is very much about what people are saying. Uh, we can provide very high intelligibility or clarity of human voice. Mm -hmm. So we have algorithms, AI technology that can also listen to how people say things. So there's a big difference if you apply, let's say, irony or sarcasm. So, so that is an information we can pass on to the agent to be more alert, to be more immersed in the conversation he is with the customer. And this is mainly coming by the signal quality we deliver through our devices. So we have crystal clear human voice. We can stream that as raw information directly to the cloud and it can be immediately analyzed and, 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 and handled there. And can you, can you detect tone? Or um, emotions, sentiment, those kinds of things? Yes, exactly. If my volume goes up, uh, or I can say the same thing three different ways, and you can discern maybe my emotional tone by assigning That's what? exactly what we are doing. So we can extract human sentiment from human voice. Right. And it just doesn't require a lot of data. Sometimes one and a half, two seconds are enough. Mm -hmm. It's language independent, by the way. So that's really exciting. Mm. So we are providing a proof of concept where you can, as a new KPI for the contact center, uh, let's say measure agent friendliness against customer anger. 
So instead of doing a lot of recording and transcription and analytics, mm -hmm. you can measure that in real time and show it as a graph in front of the agent, and the agent can adjust to that conversation. Hmm. Now, there's a lot of face-to-face -face going on here, right? Yes. We have 40,000 people, a lot of pressing of the flesh. But, but as you know, I mean, there's a lot of communication, a lot of meetings that are migrating online, right? That, so I assume you, you, you're pretty active in that space as well. Sure. So, uh, I mean, you're now leaving the contact center space and in general saying having online conversations, online collaboration, not just between agents. Yes, I mean, that's our core business. We are the leader in unified communication. In the old days, it was you and me talking, having conversation. Now you collaborate, you share. Uh, applications, you use technology like, like Amazon Chime, uh, you might add video to it, so we deliver the crystal clear audio for these type of collaboration situations. Mm -hmm. As someone who lives on the other side of the world, it's quite handy having these remote technologies to be able to converse with my colleagues up here in, uh, in the Northern Hemisphere, uh, so certainly being able to hear them clearly is, is quite important. But there's, there's also an issue associated with that, right? I mean, we put people into open offices because we want them to collab collaborate more locally and that actually causes a problem for most of the people like here in these surroundings, it's extremely noisy. Yeah. So I have difficulties to right now concentrate on the questions you are asking me. Yeah. Right. And it's the same thing in an open office, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you try to focus first and foremost on the conversation you are having with the person on the line. So we need to help you to basically cancel out the surrounding noise. At the same time, we want to provide privacy for that dialogue, so we also have to reduce the noise in that conversation, that the person on the phone we are talking to feels safe and secure about the conversation he's having with me. Mm -hmm. oh, so managing noise in this open office environment, managing noise on the line, is, is a key technology we are dealing with and our devices are providing. Mm. So what is, uh, you're here at AWS, you're, you're here clearly talking about your, your partnership with AWS yes. and, and your, your use of cloud technologies. So what is your, what would you like to see from Amazon that would help you realize the vision for Jabra? So, I mean, we, we have a very close cooperation with Amazon and pushing Connect and pushing digital contact centers, pushing the ease of making things more digital and by that easy to to use as a company, but also to understand as a user of that technology, this is exactly the direction we, we want to be and want to go. Right. Uh, because our devices are mainly digital nowadays. I mean, there's a lot of computing that is happening in the device in order to get the best sound, the best pickup of human voice, but also provide crystal clear sound when we receive that audio. So anything Amazon is doing to drive things digital is definitely in our favor, but also what we like to do more is engaging with Amazon developers. Um, so our strategy is to be very open with any technology, including the one from Amazon, being agnostic to what our joint customers are using, providing SDKs and APIs for developers that are simple for them to use, um, and, and then building together a great solution for our joint customers. You know, we always like to close down with the, the thought about where do you go from here or what hurdle do you want to get over next? Because you've talked about a lot of fantastic capabilities that you already yeah. have. What do you want to do better and how will AWS help get you there? So, I mean, provide the right information exactly to the context the caller and the agent is in. That we can really augment AI and all the technology that works in the back end with the brain of the agent and with the user. So make it easy for them, have great conversations with each other, augment uh, computer intelligence and human intelligence for great customer conversations, ultimately leading to better satisfaction. And, and, and how does AWS play into that then? I mean, that's the data center. This is where all the information is sitting. It can become audible, it can be an overlay to the conversation the agent is having. Mm -hmm. So it can provide useful information whilst we are listening to the customer because our hearing is very powerful, it's faster than our vision, it is multitasking. We can have 1.6 conversation at a time, so we can listen to a machine, we can listen to the, to the person we are talking to, and we can provide smarter, uh, smarter information and, and make better decisions based on that. I kind of feel like we're having 50 conversations at once right now, right? <laughs> yeah, that's challenging yeah. for us for sure. Boyga, yeah. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for, thanks for having me, guys. Story. We appreciate that. Thanks for walking us through it. Thanks. We're at AWS reInvent and we are theCUBE and we're live in Las Vegas.